Did you ever hear the words good teenager? What does that mean? Teens mess up on a regular basis. Teens don't uh, clean their rooms without us asking them to, or they don't always rinse their dishes off after eating. They don't do their laundry, and they don't pay for the utilities they, that they use, or the gas, or the insurance for the car that they use to take and pick up their friends with. They also try new things. They push barriers, ask questions, learn and feel passionately. But if they do those things, aren't they really just doing what teens do? That sounds like good teens to me. They do what they are supposed to do. And if they do that, they are growing into mature people. And we have, we've been talking about what it means to be a tov or good church. What do good Christians look like? Similar to teens, we as Christians, as Christ followers, are, are growing into Christ-likeness. In many ways, we are not there yet, but we, we are maturing and developing. It is not by accident that, the, that we are called the body of Christ, and we are maturing into His likeness. And, and as we were in the garden, designed by God, um, to be called good. We are not perfect in our actions and our words, but when we follow Christ and allow His Spirit to fill and teach us, we are and will be good believers. As we mature in Christ, there will be fruit in our lives. And the, the Scripture tells us in Galatians, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Today's prayer prompt is to reflect for a moment. Does, does the, the fruit in your life resemble this list? Are you growing and maturing in such a way that these things are more and more visible in your life? I would encourage you today not to focus on being a perfect Christian, but like a good teenager who is good because they are doing the teen things that lead to maturity be a good follower of Christ, maturing and growing in, to be exactly what He created us to be, fully alive in Jesus.